What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's happy and having fun. Okay, n never mind. I hope everybody's okay and everybody's safe. Let's put it that way. In today's video, we will be looking at how I got into actually playing Rise of Empires. And the story behind it might be more surprising than you think. Also, at the end of the video, I will be doing an announcement, so make sure to stick around till the end. So, let's begin. Okay, so to understand how all this happened, we need to go back in time. Okay, maybe not that far back. It all started like two years ago when I needed to buy myself a new phone. Now, taking consideration till now, I never bought myself a fancy phone. And the reason behind it is because I don't need it. Like, look, I personally have no clue why people need the new iPhone 13 or whatever when a uh, hexta core processor and four gigabytes ram when all you do all day with that phone is scroll down instagram scroll down tiktok watch videos on youtube you don't need a hexa core for that you don't need four processor gpu you don't need four gigabytes ram you just need a phone like really people stop that anyway Considering it was a good offer when I went to buy myself a new phone, I decided for the first time in my life to get myself a fancy one and I got myself a Samsung A51, which at that time was a good phone, nothing too spectacular, definitely not the best, but still a very good phone. And once I got back, I also realized that that phone spec was actually much better than my laptop spec, which was kind of sad. Then again, that laptop was pretty old. But that also made me curious on testing that spec to see what the phone can do. And more interestingly, it came to me the grand idea of checking if there's any of the old school strategy games that I used to love playing as a mobile game now considering the spec of the phone that should be more than enough for any of those old school games that i used to play and i went into google play and i searched age of empires this is a big strategy game classic and the first thing that came over was you guessed it rise of empires and the brain was like this right when I saw Rise of Empires, I was like, this must be just a different name because of copyright issues. But actually they're trying to tell the players that this is actually Age of Empires for mobile. So I was like, hell yeah. Then I clicked on the video that presented the gameplay and it looked exactly like Age of Empires. And I was like, hell yeah. And then I entered the game and the entire intro of the game, the loading screen looked like some Wrath of the Lich King, World of Warcraft type of Game of Thrones shit and I was like hell yeah and then I played the tutorial in the game and you could see and they were showing you how to kill animals to get the food and cut the trees to get the wood and put the archers on the wall for defense and I was like hell yeah and then I just got scammed surprise motherfucker because the game had absolutely nothing nothing in common with age of empires like nothing just really cheap promotion but the question is why did i stay with it if i realized that 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 is not age of empires or nothing even closely remote to age of empires why did i even bother continuing playing well i'm the type of guy that likes to give everything a chance even when i already consider that it doesn't deserve it so I played for quite a bit, like three to three weeks, one month or so, till I finally decided, okay, this has nothing to do with Age of Empires. But till that point, I already developed my castle. So I already put work into that development. Also, and more importantly, I started making a lot of friends in the new alliance and so on. And I think that's mostly the biggest problem for all the players in Rise of Empires is you make the friends which is the community and i think the community is the biggest factor that makes this game so popular it's not the game itself because the game itself doesn't offer that much and in case of the spenders is also that thing that you invested so much time and money in your castle that you feel bad of leaving it there for no reason 
So yeah, this is how I got to actually stay in Rise of Empires. But I did tell you that I'm also going to be doing an announcement at the end. So regarding this idea of how I got to start playing Rise of Empires, it also struck me lately that why don't I just play the games that I was looking for to begin with? Why not just play those old classics as I used to do before? And I decided that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to start a live stream on Twitch playing my number one best ever favorite strategy city building game i'm not gonna say which one it is you're gonna have to join in on saturday for the live stream it's all gonna be on twitch saturday 6 p.m central european time or 3 p.m in in-game time the reason why i chose twitch over youtube is because i've been having a lot of troubles doing lives on youtube and it's just so many issues with the chat that is delayed and for me the live stream the entire idea of the live stream was because i wanted to have a more direct contact with you guys the audience and have an opportunity to chat with you and talk with you so uh yeah twitch i know for a fact that i don't have those problems and i can have a better contact with you guys so here's my twitch account it's kalistos twitch if you want to point out that i spelled twitch wrong yes i know it was a typo and then when i tried to change it again they told me i cannot do it till next two months for god knows what reason so i'm kind of stuck with this name till then but Either way, you can subscribe already and get notified every time I'm going to do a live stream on Twitch as I will start doing more and more live stream as I find that they're more interactive and I can still do the same things as I'm doing with the guide videos but more directly to everyone's problems. So if you have any questions regarding Rise of Empires that I can answer, join in the stream say hello in the chat leave your questions and i will happily help you guys out with any information i can and i know if you just want to join in to see the game i was talking about and uh, where i'm gonna be explaining why that game is my number one favorite you can do that also and what i can tell you about the game it's gonna be a happy relaxing atmosphere so compared to uh, very stressful games like hashtag League of Legends for example this is the reason why I love this game so much it's so nice like in nice in a very relaxing way you can still play it can still be competitive in it but it's removed from any sources of stress so I really hope I will see you guys on Saturday. Remember 6 p.m. Central European time and 3 p.m. in-game Rise of Empires time. Again, remember you can subscribe already to the Twitch channel and I'll see you guys in a few days.